7 Stacks Embedded Technologies Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed our last video and I'm glad that you are back and I hope you are curious about further 7 Stacks technologies. Today I want to introduce you to the 7 Stacks V2G Simulator. So what is a V2G Simulator? It is an ideal tool when you are developing an EVCC, meaning an electric vehicle communication controller, or an SECC, a supply equipment communication controller. 76 V2G Simulator acts as your sparring partner for charging communication according to the protocols defined in the combined charging system. That means the simulator implements communication based on the ISO 5011-8 and the DIN 7121. It comes as a ready-to-use system, including an HPGP-based powerline frontend and also the needed control pilot handling according to IEC 61851 to enter the high-level communication. The simulator is available in two different configurations, one to simulate an electric vehicle and one to simulate an EVSE, meaning a charging station. The unit will be controlled via a web browser, meaning it has a built-in web server. It can thus also be easily integrated in automated test systems using a JSON over HTTP based API of the web server. Last but not least, the 7 Stacks V2G simulator offers the bridging of the powerline interface to the Ethernet interface so that it can forward the traffic on the control pilot to the connected PC. You might run our Green Shark packet dissector on the PC and analyze the communication in real time or capture the traffic. Aren't you aware of 7 Stacks Green Shark? No problem, I will put a link to another video showcasing the Green Shark into the description below. Now let us look into a nice little demonstration of our simulator. Our setup connects a control pilot of two of our simulators, one simulating the EV and the other one simulating the EVSE. So our devices are talking to each other at the end. But this shall not be a problem for this video instruction here. On the left you can see the web front end of our EV simulation, on the right the EVSE. Let's step through the different available modules. The dashboard showcases the actual status and allows you to manually start or stop charging. Normally the process starts automatically when the control pilot is connected. Furthermore you see the electrical values of the state of charge and the simulated battery. The status dialog shows the stage the session is actually in. From the basic negotiation on the CP over the slug process until the session comes up with later authentication, the charge loop and the termination of the session. A blinking yellow LED will show that the stage is actually processed while a permanent LED shows that the stage was passed. So if anything went wrong you will see in which state the issue occurred. The session parameters dialog shows us the used parameters of the EV and you can switch to the parameters received from the EVSE. Our simulator comes with an integrated battery simulator and you can even modify its parameters. You can set the charging mode, while DC is a standard setting, the capacity, the initial state of charge and the thresholds for the transition from fast to normal charging speed. In the control pilot module you can monitor the actual applied duty cycle. The powerline dialog allows you to use the simulator even if your implementation has not yet implemented the basic communication on the CP and furthermore allows you to skip also the slug negotiation. The PLC mirror is really worth to mention again. It allows you to bridge the entire powerline IP traffic to the Ethernet interface for analyzing purposes. Again, you should really also have a look into our Green Shark video. The graph window is fancy. It draws the session's parameters in real time during the charging session. What's awesome is the fact that our simulator also supports V2G simulation via Ethernet. So imagine you are in the middle of your development phase, for instance using a PC and you do not yet have a PLC chipset integrated. The other dialogues are standard stuff, so let's have a look into the EVSE side. While most of the modules are identical, the battery dialog is replaced by the charger dialog, where you set the charger's parameters. Well, all good, but I expect you really want to see a charging session now. 
Let's start. I'm connecting the control pilot and here we go. As promised, we can observe how the different stages are reached. I have configured a pretty small battery, as you see in the battery window, so that the charging loop will not take too long. The graph is showing the behavior of the voltage and the current, and down below the increasing state of charge. And that's it. We successfully finished our charging loop. Let's do another charging loop simulation while we monitor the EVSE side. We realize that the state of charge was transmitted and it shows up here. And when we look into the charge parameters of the EV, you can see that they were also successfully transmitted. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our little demonstration of these two awesome 7 Sex products. And I of course also hope that the video created some interest on your side. So if you want to learn more or get a quote, please do not hesitate to contact us via our website. If you have questions or remarks, you can of course leave us a comment here and I would appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Cheers and stay tuned.